Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. But here it is, the game that I talked about, Mindy. So check your sportsbook rules also before you make the or or if you are if you know that you like the under because this total open as high as 47 and a half and um, now is down all the way to 41 and a half, mostly based on this news of the massive snowstorm. But a lot of books will cancel wagers when it, when the site. Ramon, there you I'm go. I'm coming back. Here I there am. Yep, here I am. Thank you. I need a hard wire also. Uh, <laughs> so I think I left off oh, saying, you know, check your sports book rules, right? Where Because uh, a lot of sports books, uh, the game has to be played on the uh, same date and same site a lot of times. Otherwise, so you actually could actually, if you were interested in taking the under based on the weather, uh, you might be able to get away with, you know, putting that play down and then uh, not having it go against you if they do move the game. Just make sure, though, of your sportsbook's rules on this game. So, uh, but Mindy, uh, nonetheless, uh, you talk, you you mentioned Watson. Uh, you know, I think he is. They did say now uh, uh, he will be in the starter in Week 13, but uh, we still got to wait for that moment. Uh, in the meantime, you do have Josh Allen, who leads the NFL in interceptions. By the way, Cleveland's defense is way overrated obviously at this point it's not the cleveland defense we knew for the last couple of seasons so what's going to happen here uh well i'm uh you know thinking i might be uh against what you're saying here a little bit ramon perhaps i mean bills are coming off uh two losses in a row now so they really need to go ahead and uh redeem themselves Allen threw for 330 against the vikings but still came up short due to those interceptions and weird fourth and 18 plays uh you know watson you know like you just said has returned to practice for the browns um after his week 11 week suspension here but uh maybe that lights a fire under Brissett, maybe a little bit here um you know he's had a respectable season i think uh oh. averages uh 230 yards a game uh That's leading amazing. that offense but i mean he's leading them to a 10th place um you know position in the nfl uh for points scored here per game uh, you know, so to me, I think this one um, will probably tick to the over. Uh, I think each of these, uh, you know, folks, no matter if it's run or pass, can score three touchdowns apiece. Um, I don't see why it uh, why it can't. Uh, so, again, I'm going to take the over. I know that you're talking a little bit about some under trends, maybe some weather. A lot of times, again, when I see this game uh, turning into a running game, that doesn't bother me at all with these two teams. I've got as a... Uh, uh... Uh, so you're going over going you say? over the 41 and a half. Yeah. Okay. And again, I mean, if they end up playing this game um, in Ford Field, I mean, you're going to be looking at a total that's going to go right back up. Uh, yeah. So uh, I would think. And I've got it, Mindy, as a, a get right spot uh, for Buffalo after what happened. I mean, Allen looked, looked fine. I think he's a pretty confident quarterback and I think he's the type that is not going to stop. He's kind of like Ramon Scott. He's not going <laughs> to stop firing after a few missteps. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to get you anywhere. Your system, Ramon. That's right. That's right. Keep going. So go. uh, look, Buffalo's still good. Cleveland, like I said, Cleveland defense is suspect. I mean, this is not the same Cleveland defense uh, right now. So uh, like I said, Brissett's been incredible given the situation, but they're still uh, not winning, not winning games. But you mentioned the overs, Cleveland six, two and one to the over. That kind of points to the fact that they're playing in some high scoring games, Buffalo two and seven to the under. We know that uh, they have a very good offense. You know, it's funny because uh, to me, Buffalo though, even though they can get the running game going, uh, the way Davis gets long deep and digs, they have big play offense, right? So sure. I like Buffalo, uh, I like Buffalo in, in this one. I think I'm getting a little bit of a discount here at eight. Uh, maybe it was a hot, maybe it was as opener as nine. So I'm gonna take Buffalo uh, as my free play. Mindy's gonna take the over, uh, no matter what site they play. I guess, right, Mindy? If they play at a yeah, I don't care. 
good conditions, that even is better for, better for you, uh, I would think. So, uh, again, it's a serious situation where I believe they will make a decision. If, if I'm Buffalo, I mean, I'm Buffalo, right? I don't you think the, I'm Buffalo. The fans, right. When you, when you tell your fans we're not going to play this football game in the stadium. Because the fans are going to be there. Your you shirt's off. You know that. Games in the snow in Buffalo. If any stadium in the – any team you know i mean i i guess and you know don't want to make light of the situation especially if it's a a, a crushing snowstorm don't want those people to get buried and uh, have problems uh, with uh, you know you we're know. getting around yes right i mean that sucks but uh if it just involves a little snow at a football game i mean they'll be lighting picnic tables on fire in the parking lot and getting ready for the game uh they'll be wearing no no shirts and <laughs> you know uh, yeah, it kind of reminded me. Uh, my brother, he had to uh, tell me yesterday it was the anniversary of the coldest game I had ever been to. Ten years ago, uh, the Chiefs played the 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 Seahawks with Marshawn Lynch. It was fun, uh, but it was minus twelve, and I couldn't drink enough brandy to keep me warm. <laughs> I tell you, it was so cold. Uh, so I mean, I can only imagine, uh, you know, having the the snow and wet, you know, uh, on top of that there in in Buffalo. I mean, it was at least a uh, a really cold, dry day in Kansas City. <laughs> you no, know, I like how uh, Blake said, "Please play in the snow." Right. Sure I remember are. that I used to have that game. I'm so old. Before video games, they had the game where you'd put the little men on the table and turn on. Yeah, the and it vibrates. Oh. And I'd put baby powder on it. Go, it's snowing here, and they'd leave the track. <laughs> okay, let's go. Well, we That's never adorable. did that, but. <laughs> I'm crazy. Why didn't we think of that? Why didn't we think I'm of that? Crazy. I never thought about the baby powder on the vibrating. Uh, <laughs> we used to keep stats, win loss records. We'd have our full season. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. I've had like all the teams with all the different jerseys home and away. And we had them all in my grandma's, uh, you know, the, the case that the, the checks come in, you know, that cardboard, they all fit in there. So we had all these lined up. That yeah. was one of my favorites, man. We are old. The video games came along. And, super old. Uh, yes. I also like that game where you'd put the record in and then do the play by play. I don't remember that one. Okay. <laughs> So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the Tony'sPicks.com website right now and check out our All Cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks. And be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TONYT at checkout to save 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.